Hi, I know uh, a lot of time has passed since my last video, um, but I was quite busy building my house and uh, right now it's snowing and cold so I had some time to, to play with a microcontroller and what you see here it's um, the ADC reading from a ARM microcontroller, it's a 32-bit ARM, it's an STM32F103 not that it's important. It has a 12-bit uh, analog to digital converter and the first value is the direct uh, reading from the ADC. No, um, no filter involves anything, just a direct reading from the ADC. The second value, it's a bit more complex. First off, I use 128 ADC readings um, I make of a sum of them and then uh, take the average and that average still has maybe one or two counts plus minus uh, uh, flicker so you can see that on the on the end of the display with a small bar graph and the indication value like zero it means that um, the Average value it's exactly the same like the second reading and uh, one means that it's one count plus or minus it depends you can see on the bar graph uh, different from the displayed reading so um, as you can see the, the second uh, displayed value of the ADC it's quite stable using this algorithm I will show you the algorithm at the end of this video this is calibrated uh, using my other multimeters and what I will do now is uh, I will measure the battery voltage and as you can see it's about uh, 1.259 volt so um, it, it flickers a little bit but uh, this is because of uh, my wires and the way uh, I'm using them. Okay, I will measure the same battery with two different multimeters. This is uh, one of them. As you can see, it's 1.259 uh, volt, so exactly the same as I was reading from the um, microcontroller. And this is the other multimeter. And as you can see, it's the same value, 1.259, but it flickers between this and 1.260. So um, I can change the range and um, see with a, a bit better resolution. So uh, you see 1.259 and the last digit it's uh, about five or six so that's why it flickers between those two values okay as i promised at the beginning of the video this is the code that uh, the part of the code that um, uh, takes the adc values uh, make an average and displays it on the LCD screen and um, so this is just the algorithm part and the first part of it is a for loop that takes 128 ADC readings from the ADC1 and stores the sum of this, uh, all these values and then I have another variable ADC total that uh, takes this sum and divide it by the number of uh, readings and so you get an, an average and then uh, there is an if condition and if this uh, new value is um, uh, plus minus two counts uh, and this, this value is compared with a, a previous value with a value that I took before so if it's plus minus two counts then uh, it will do nothing to the displayed image 
but it will take this into account and it will count as 33% of the new ADC total 2 value. So when it will compare next time, if it's again the same plus 1 count or minus 1 count, it's the same like last time, then uh, the third time it will update the display, meaning that uh, the value actually increased with uh, one digit. And it was not just a just a, a short uh, pulse or something like that, just a flicker. And then um, if uh, if this value is different from uh, plus minus two count, meaning that it's equal or uh, higher or lower than uh, two counts, then it will uh, update the display. And um, I think this this is all about this. Uh, you can see the code here that there are no um, comments on the code because I'm I'm usually lazy and just write the code very fast and I don't I don't take uh, part of the time to to wrote comments. At least I didn't wrote uh, as of now. And um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I will put a link of the complete. Uh, code if you are interested it it was for the stm32 and um, but you can use it on probably any other microcontroller okay that's about it um, i hope this short video was uh, helpful in a way for someone and um, let me know if you know any other um, algorithms that uh, can be used for uh, improving the ADC uh, reading and um, if, you have, if you have any questions please leave a comment and I will do my best to answer thanks for watching this video and um, not sure when I will do the, the next video but uh, hopefully soon